welcome to my review of Hustlers, directed by Lorene Scafaria and starring Jennifer Lopez and Constance Wu. The film is based on the viral New York Magazine article in which a group of former strip club employees go and turn the table on their Wall Street clients after the Wall Street recession of 2008. Judging from the trailers, I swear to you, I wasn't even going to see this film. It looked like shit, the story didn't appeal to me, starring Jennifer Lopez isn't really going to change my tune. I just wasn't interested in anything this film had to offer. Then it was announced that it was going to premiere a TIFF, which is kind of a place reserved for really great movies. And then it had these amazing reviews coming out of it. So it was coming out this week, I had nothing to watch today besides this one. So I was like, fine, let's give it a chance. In many ways, I gotta admit, I am really surprised. This film is actually really, really fun. I enjoyed myself watching this film. I enjoyed following this story, following these characters and their struggles. Constance Wu, and this is her story, is really, really good. In this film. My only exposure to her really is Crazy Rich Asians, in which I already thought she was good. This is a very different role. It's got a lot of different stuff to do, a lot of different meat for her to chew into, and I really enjoyed her in this film. But the one who steals this film, and I have to swallow my own words, but Jennifer Lopez, she's really good in this. She gives the best performance she's ever given. And I know that's not saying much. I don't think Lopez has ever given a good or remotely close to good performance in her life. But she's great in this one. She's the matriarch on the group. She's the protector one. You get that throughout this film. And their friendship is something that is really beautiful to witness and to see flourishing and becoming bigger and bigger and developing throughout the film. You really grab onto these characters because of that bond that you have between Constance Wu and Jennifer Lopez. And there are other characters in the film but they are not really well developed, they're just here to embellish and I guess complete the world around the two of them. And the film does overstay its welcome a little bit too long. And it does have a couple of pacing issues, but I get into those in a little bit. Something that I really like was how the film moves from first act into the second act. The second act is what you're here to see. It's the heist, let's say. It's them bamboozling all these Wall Street guys and you going through the plan, through the strategy, how did they do it, and counting the numbers and whatnot. And I really enjoyed seeing that. But I also really enjoyed, in the first part, seeing Jennifer Lopez teaching Constance Wu the ropes. Not only how to fool these guys little by little and getting more and more each time you go and fool someone, knowing who they are and how much you can get from them judging by their shoes, by their wedding ring, by their watches, by their blazers and whatnot, but she also teaches her some moves to do in the lap dance or in the pole while she is on stage out to convince guys to go with her into the champagne room and whatnot. So throughout most of the first and second act I was really pleasantly surprise but the film does have a lot of problems as I mentioned it does overstay its welcome this film is one hour and 49 minutes long it could have been cut out there are so many scenes that are either unnecessary or are way 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 too long than they need to be and I'd also cut out quite a few characters to be honest Cardi B is in this film Thank God she's in this so much, but everything with that character, you can cut it out. But I guess you will convince a lot of people to go see this film and you'll make a whole lot more money because Cardi B is in it for five minutes. And you need subtitles to understand. Pacing-wise, it's also really uneven throughout the film. It feels like it wants to be fast when it's going slow, but it feels like it wants to go slow when it's going fast. It's really hard to explain without going into spoilers. You really have to see the film for yourself. And even if you disagree, I think you can know what I mean by watching the film. And even though I enjoy the bond developing between the two main characters in the first act, there's a lot of stuff happening around them, but a lot of things, they are not doing it. They are not making these things happen in the first act for the most part. You see these characters going, 
through the motion and you see the world around them moving but not so much these two characters and i think the second act does become a little convoluted which again goes into pacing i would have changed these events for narrative purposes to maybe cut them out or either to make them happen later in the film maybe even in the third act with small little conclusions to each of them some of these issues are moments some of these issues are characters despite not being a great film not even close to it i gotta say it's fun and i give this film a whole lot more credit than i would have given it just last week this film is a whole lot better than i ever would have thought it could be i'm giving hustlers a c plus what did you think of hustlers my beautiful geekies were you surprised were you already excited and it exceeded your expectations it did not respond to those expectations let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching you are the best i'll be back tomorrow my review for downtown abbey the film i hope to see you there and so until then stay beautiful stay geeky and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like because it really helps me out i'll see you tomorrow so until then love each other and love the movies